Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is the Tarot Love Reading Session for you for the week of November 9 to November 14. Oops, you've got an Ace of Cups, new beginning. This is for Gemini friends out there. What can I get for Gemini? What is the message for Gemini, please? For the week of November 9 to excuse me, November 14th, what is the love message for Gemini friends out there, okay? Um, before I start, I would like to thank you, Gemini, for, for coming back, for tuning in. Shout out to all of my subscribers. Thank you. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. Again, Ace of Cups. And if you would like to further support my channel, myself, and my team, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with, connect with me there, please. Check out my online store. We will be uploading new products. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading for me. This is the setting manifestation candle. It was supercharged, curated under the blue moon, full moon. So it is really have an amazing energy it's touched by a reiki so watch out within the next 24 hours we will upload it on our online store okay so gemini what's coming towards you for the week all right for the week of november 9 to 14 what is the love message for you in today's reading i will be looking at the past energy the current energy and the, the, the immediate future and predictive outcome and advice, okay? Depending on the message that I'll pick up for today, I'll let you know if there is a need to extend the reading, okay? So let's start the reading. In the past position, you've got the death card in reverse and then five of wands in reverse. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius energy in here. Um, I really feel like this death card in reverse, this is resisting to change, resisting to let go of a conversation, a fight, a person. It could be a person because five of wands. There are some ways, uh, behavior, attitude, a thought, a thinking, a belief system for some of you connected to love and romantic that, um, I don't know, you're being advised to change, but you are not changing this habit, okay? There is a not-so-good habit that you are, it could be an attitude, it could be a behavior. Um, this two cards is telling me that um, the energy I get from these two cards, Gemini, it's, it's time to really change um, a behavior, an attitude, your ways of thinking about something, about a person, because... Um, it's not giving you the sun card. It's um, it's more of relax. You kind of overthink. There's no need to compete. I, I get that um, an anxiety, stress, a little bit of possessiveness and jealousness, and something to do with because the Leo card, the sun card is here. The past position. It seems to be it was relaxed, but you try to control it. It seems to be. The person, the situation in the past, it was almost yours. Then for some reason, you did something. You message, you try to control or you try to steer the conversation or the direction of the communication or the relationship into something of what you want. But your person is not ready for it. Because I see in here five of wands in reverse. Um, it's open to happen. Like it's scheduled to happen. But for some reason... A person, it could be you, it could be your person, try to steer, try to control something. And it's close to your energy. For some of you, it could be that you're not aware of this habit, of this ways that you're doing. And it is kind of jinxing, the, it, it jinx the communication, it jinx the connection. So I want you to really um, meditate, go internal. Review the way you send your message, the way you think. Maybe you have some ways, you have some behaviors, you know, you have maybe some immaturity that, or insecurity because we, we're not perfect. We're flawed, 
okay we are not perfect human being and i am i am not perfect and you know this past situation it's kind of advising you to identify that weaknesses because those small weaknesses can actually jinx the communication the connection okay and um i really see in here that this person this communication they were happy with you they were happy with how things are rolling progressing but somehow somewhere out there maybe because you want this person so much to be your twin flame to to be with you to to to, to secure the bag to secure this person maybe you, you did something to kind of manipulated you maybe you open up and then you were rejected and you were not reciprocated of whatever you feel whatever you put forward whatever you presented it was it was not reciprocated and for some of you you took it so bad for some of you guys for some of you you just decided like this is not right this is not fair i really get in here a message gemini that you know before you actually judge or point finger you also have to review the side of the story your your side of your story and maybe there's something of an improvement that you need to do you need to tweak because it seems to be the other person is is at the same page of you, as yours but there was a conflict that was made out of spite or control or trying to upgrade something that's not ready okay um yeah, I really feel like this person was really happy during the times that you were getting to know or when you were in the status of friendship and leveling it up into a romantic. That's where it got stuck, you know. The getting to know stage where you started as a, you started off as friends, calling each other every day, connecting every day, and it is upgrading, you know. I really see the energy of it's it's going up it's escalating up somewhere out there it could be you it could be your person but the energies the the one who's the one who 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 who's a bit controlling is coming from your side so i'm picking up that energy and i need to call that out so um yeah somewhere out somewhere between the the, the fun times going to bridging the friendship to romantic that was that's where something happened and it dropped and it was never repaired it was it got it got broken it, it never healed for some of you um the six of cups is here which means that you and this person has built up a strong emotional foundation a soulmate foundation and um this is what this is the reason why you're kind of holding on and i think your person is still holding on with that but it's just hard to get it back you know when you when you throw the glass and when it it's already broken you know it's hard to fix it the way it was you need to really replace it with a new glass you know so so that's the past energy for you gemini it's kind of strong and deep but you know i'm just a messenger i really need to you know to, to to deliver the energy that i see in here because if i don't i won't be able to sleep <laughs> so that's the past energy moving on to the current energy you've got the star card and the queen of cups you have full of hope your energy in here gemini is very promising you're still i'm not surprised to this you know you're still willing to love you believe in the concept of love and in love you are the sign that before you fall in love to your person you fall in love with love okay so i like that you have the star card and the queen of cups because yep you've been for some of you burned betrayed whatever you call it let's say let's put it this way there was a failure in the past but here you are never surrender never lose your faith to love queen of cups and the star card and it's so amazing how one person can be resilient from moving on from this failure and having this momentum again of the star the queen of cups just make sure that you use your head over your heart because you're so focused on your emotions and there is a reminder for you because gemini is also you know your element is sword if if you use too much of your emotions you might not really anticipate the reality of things so it's it's more of a gentle reminder i know you're full of you know full of you're very optimistic and hopeful about getting love again receiving love again just use your head over your heart okay listen to your 
listen to your listen to your intuition because your intuition is connecting to the logical to the brain side to the head space of yours that's why the head is space you know that's why the head is located in here over the heart because you use this first before you listen to your emotion okay make sure that you've got a balance your person's energy all right this is your energy for some of you you've got new love You've got new love and three of cups. You've got new love or there's a person in the past that came back and you are in a renewal of love. But there is love around you. There is someone interested around you. It could be a past person or it could be someone new. But this person is really wanting to go full time, big time, exclusive with you. Three of cups in reverse because this is dating. But this is in reverse. They really want to be exclusive with you. They really want to exclusively offer to you this Ace of Cups. It's just a reminder because this is the current energy to really use the right logic. Just, you know, be balanced. Because it's over, it's, you, you might, you might end up with the same situation in the past. If you, you know, like there's a, there's so much curiosity here. There's so much, it's. It's 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 a bit of taking a risk. Yep. It's it's um it's like a sugar rush, all right? This is love rush, sugar right rush. It's like the adrenaline because this is the queen of cups, the queen of emotions, and this is the ace of cups. It's all emotions like ra 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 ra. You know, it's too it's too good to be true right now. Like this is a honeymoon stage to so try to put a little bit of space between the two of you so that you still have a space to get to know like for some of you i'm being advised to say okay you talk whole day so the next day you have nothing to talk about so you know give a space to miss each other most especially if you're rekindling reconnecting most especially if you this is a new new person so just an element of a surprise or give each other a little, like keep them coming, keep them keen. That's what I'm getting from here. Because if you all out, like for today, you speak 24 hours, then there's nothing to talk about the following day, something like that. So keep it keen, keep, keep them keen, keep them interested, give them space to miss you. And so, and vice versa. Okay, but there's love, there's really love and this is good love. It's, it's serious, all right? You know, three of cups in reverse and ace of cups. And I really feel like for some of you, you're struggling to trust this person because you're turned back to them. You're, you're scared that you fall in love and they will not provide you with that love that you want, okay? There is that element in here. If this is someone in the past, you're scared to love them again. They're offering you love again. Um, they want exclusivity from you, but you've learned your lesson, so... You're a little bit guarded in here. So, yeah, use your head over your heart, okay? I know you have full of, because you've, you've got the, you know, the star card, the queen of cups. Your current energy is really, really good. Um, let them in, okay? But don't give too much of your unconditional love. Reserve something for you okay now in the immediate future okay the future of this connection nine of cups i see you and this person um dating getting to know nine of cups is eating drinking you and them getting to know re very relaxed nine of swords i think for some of you after maybe three weeks or four weeks or for some of you, you will reach more than three weeks, more than four weeks, or, you know, pretty much more than a month. You're still talking, dating. There's still no uh, definition of you and this person getting exclusive. One of you, you know, king of nine of swords, king of wands, it seems to be one of you will apply control, okay? This is dating. This is getting to know. This is, this is rekindling, reconnecting. So there's a series of one to two weeks that you're flirting, you're talking. Maybe the third week you will meet each other. You will video call. But I see this whole new energy or a renewal of energy from someone in the past. Um, three to four weeks, like two to three weeks fun. Uh, four weeks onward and you're not yet exclusive or it hasn't upgraded to the level of commitment or relationship or connection that you want one of you 
um, will overthink, will worry that what's going on. You know, this Nine of Swords and King of Wands. This is a challenge in the future connection because it's been three weeks, it, it's been four weeks, it's been a month, it's been it's more than a month, and yet you're still at the same energy. It could be you, it could be them. Nine of Swords, King of Wands. You're worried, or they could be worried, or you, but someone is worried that it's slow, it slows down, it slows down, or things get you know boring. If you feel that way, just give them a kind reminder, a kind follow-up. Because I really feel like you will come to a point that you and your person will have a stalemate. Because the way you started off is like like this. It's it's really honeymoon, exciting, passion. So um, if, if in the process of getting to know, rekindling, reconnecting, there was a slowdown, there was a little bit of... Um, you know, stepping back um, because things are getting serious, all right? You know, Page of Pentacles, if, you know, follow up if you need to. Send a follow up if you feel like, hey, what's going on? If you haven't heard from them, but don't, don't be emotional. Don't try to control it because I really feel like at some point your person will think. Your person will, you, you will feel like Nine of Swords, King of Wands in here. You will feel a threat. You will feel like your person is dropping off. But actually, they're not. They're not dropping off. They're thinking, what is the next step? What is the real deal? What is, how will this thing level up into a honeymoon to a more serious commitment? That is your person's call. So you don't need to, most especially if you're a female, Gemini, don't control let the male you know take charge if you feel like oh you haven't heard from them follow up give them a gentle follow-up i honestly feel like if you've been calling and texting each other for two weeks do you you already have a mutual understanding so act like a natural person that you we got our understanding we've been talking you know one to two weeks so give them a gentle reminder hi sweetheart hi darling be flirty be encouraging for them to call you to text you i see them being a little bit aloof because they're thinking what is next they're kind of thinking and assessing their feelings towards you it's getting serious i worry that you might control you might lash out you might be impulsive and this person might pull away that is my worry to you okay so take it easy things will slow down things will be a little bit challenging and it's okay because don't feel insecure because you build a strong moment you know for the first two weeks you build a strong moment so just a kind reminder and give them as much space to think because i honestly feel like this person, Ace of Cups, it's a good, it's a good connection. It's something to be trusted. Um, so yeah, enjoy this new connection or reconnection. And um, Page of Pentacles, there would be challenges, but I see you communicating again and patching things up. And you'll be more stronger if you apply the right attitude, the right behavior, the mature and diplomatic approach when things are not well. The way you inquire, the way you follow up, it should be mature, diplomatic, and sweet. Okay? So thank you, Gemini. I'll see you soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.